Carolyn, the cleanup continues tonight. That storm packed a powerful punch, uprooted trees, and as you mentioned, knocked out power. Some still in the dark tonight. The path of destruction left some in disbelief. It was like unbelievable. Oh. Oh. A torrential downpour caught on camera by neighbors. It scared me because my granddaughter was upstairs. Kevin Jones says a heavy rain pushed by gusts of strong winds ravaged his neighborhood. The power of Mother Nature left him in disbelief. It looked like a fan of, of water and the trees fell down simultaneous. Boop, so boop, 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 boop. Trees uprooted, blocking traffic down power lines left some in the dark for hours. Philip Boyd also lives on Buckingham Avenue on the city's east side. The debris too much of a load to clear himself. He worries about if his neighbors would need emergency assistance overnight. Might be another emergency come up. Somebody could get sick or anything. I heard like a a big bolt of lightning, like a zippy sound, and next thing you know, my power was out. As cleanup begins, Maria Campbell was still out of power and surveyed the damage near her church. She discovered a large tree limb that snapped and fell into the street. My pastor is going to be kind of like devastated a little bit, you know, that the tree is down, but <laughs> thank God nobody is hurt. That is good news. No one hurt on that street that we were at on the city's east side. Neighbors tell me they'll need help to clear some of those large trees from the street. We did contact the city. They told us that they will send out a crew tomorrow morning to survey the damage and help where possible. Live in Detroit, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News.